Want to use your hosting or domain with Google Workspace for constant professional emails? In this tutorial, I'll go through you step by step to make this happen. So, welcome back here in Stack Express. I'm going to be showing you how to do this process. There are a few prerequisites to get started. For example, and first of all, much more easier is to having a hosting domain. To purchase a hosting domain, what I need to do is, of course, to look out for hosting logged in, go into domains, and of course, get a new domain. So once I hit now into hosting, I'm going to be choosing enter my desired domain I would like to purchase. Here it is. Go for search. And once you choose a domain that you would like to purchase, go for the option that says buy now. Once that you uh, have now received your domain, go directly from the domain portfolio and make sure that you have access directly here from the option that says managed. Here to manage, you want to focus into DNS name servers and leave this for the next step. Another prerequisite is to have a Google Workspace description. You have a link down below in the description to have access to the Google Workspace totally for free for the next uh, 14 days so you can now have access to the Google Workspace. So I'm going to go directly here into Google Workspace dashboard, which in this case is workspace.google.com. And here, once you have your access, let's say, for example, that you already have a domain, you can focus directly into the left part of your account, focused into domains and look out for manage your domains. Inside the managing of my domain, I'm going to add a new domain. And here's going to be asking you for the domain name. Here, I'm going to be entering the domain that I wanted to add. For example, here, this is the one that we could purchase. I'm going to go back into sthwhd.site. So I copy it and I paste it here. There we go. So this is how it's actually gonna be looking. Now we can go for a secondary domain, add a domain and start the verification. Now it's gonna be looking a little bit. Then here to verify your own website, here I'm gonna go for domain host and choose the option that says host Tinder. Then go for the option that says continue. Now here it's gonna be asking you to enter the verification code in order to continue. So you just copy this TXT record and CNAME record. I'm going to show you how to add this very easy. So here back into hosting, you're inside the DNS name servers. I go directly here where it says manage DNS records. This is the part where I'm going to be adding my custom DNS information. So this is the part where I go back into my domain and I copy and paste all this information, for example, the host name, the value and the TTL. So here the type, for example, is a TXT as it appears here, txt, value, I'm gonna copy and paste it here, and name, usually just set this by default and go for it at the record. By default should be apparent now in here and you now go directly into continue. Once this process has now been saved, go into check confirm once you have updated the code and your domain host. Go from confirmed and your domain should now be ready. So let's go for activate the Gmail and go for continue. Now, as you can see here, let's go for proceed with the activation. And now last is gonna be asking you to enter the last pre-existing MX code associated with the domain and replace them with the codes mentioned here in the NS section. So let's go for MX record. Once again, confirm this and confirm once again. So my domain is now been ready and just make sure that the verification of the DNS is exactly the same as it was asked by the actual Google Workspace. So that's test your setup. Open the Gmail, compose a new mail from your custom address to make sure this one is actually working. So we can add more users and much more. Basically what I'm going to do here is to go directly here. Check out here my website or my another account. Check out here my account. Go for compose. Let's say that to myself from another Gmail. Now let's go for test number two. So test number two is in here. I hit into send and I wanted to make sure that this one appears into my new, this appears into my actual current Gmail that I currently have. And here it is, test number two. This is not a spam, so I can go back into my inbox and there we go, add my domain. So that is how you connect your hosting your domain directly from Google Workspace. So just in case you have any questions, you can leave it down below in the comment section. Hopefully this was a very useful information for you guys. So thank you once again for watching this video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And well, see you next time.